place is going to be absolutely bumping. As you can see, it's already starting as the second place. Bingham Wildcats gets the handoff. Boom, boom, boom. In the pink, you he's gone. Go and without further ado, the first ever Fox 40 Hot Dog Eating Championships. Eaters, on your marks, get set. Eat. Walk me through the process of how this came to be. How did Vessel get to be kind of the home of the Section 4 Championships this year? Oh, just just missed it. Just missed it. Just. Well, Wes, I gotta ask. You guys say that Windsor has the best concession stands in the area. What goes into that? Lots of a great turnout in here. What are you hearing about voter turnout throughout the area? Well, the It takes over after the punt. Bellis under center tosses to Drew Maycomber. He's out of frame. Then boom, runs the safety over, lowers the shoulder, keep it moving. Maycomber showing some grit, and he would be the one to put the exclamation point on the drive. Nobody stopping here. A 10 minute drive of all runs for the Tigers. Dick Hoover Stadium vessel welcoming Corning of Double A. Corning will start us off on the attack here. 10 minute make a run, but the ball gets loose. It's a scramble between Bears and Hogs, but Liam Neely's going to pop up, show off the ball to the ref, turning the ball over to Vessel. Goldmere's on the attack now, and Jackson. And Hines is going for the run. Go, go, go. Hines speeding his way into the end zone for a Vestal Tuddy. Green and gold continuing the offensive power of the pass from Captain Cam Schaefer. That will find Logan McNamara on the receiving end, setting up the Bears on the doorstop. We're going to head to the fifth kick, and the save's going to win it. Sahara Zingai lines up. She runs. She kicks. Scott blocks it, and the Bearcats are going to win the soccer game. Binghamton is moving on. BU wins 3-2 in penalty kicks and survives. They dog pile Scott who did. Meyer, the quarterback, takes a snap, pump fakes, lets this one sing. Brady Cannon on the receiving end. Storm storming through Sydney early on. Off immediately at the secondary level. Rumbling and dumbling. Bouncing off Wildcats before finally hitting the turf. We start in the fourth quarter. Cam Schaefer back to bass. Swing the slant, but no sir. Cooper Hughes right there. One-handed snag by the linebacker. Oh my goodness. Our latest Amphenol Aerospace Athlete of the Week takes us out to the Johnson City Pool, where senior Evan Regal boasts an impressive resume with a Section 4 championship and his school's 11-dive record. But before this weekend, was still searching for a state championship qualifier. At the Johnson City High School Pool, on one end, there's a myriad of swimmers spanning from different strokes and skill sets. On the other, there's Evan a four-time school record setter in 11 dive, but what exactly is that? 11 dives. <laughs> well, in high school, it's the most important event for divers. Like the big score that most recruiters and college, they use and they see. It's also how you qualify for states, something Evan was just short of last year. He was so close last year, he missed it by less than a point. In fact, Regal's opportunities to compete were limited, missing six weeks with a concussion. I just don't think I had enough time last year to qualify. I cut it really close with qualifying for states, but didn't make it. And although Evan sustained his injury during a dive, that minor setback didn't stop him from a major comeback. Everybody in diving is going to come to a, a stanza, a point where the dives just get too scary or too hard. But it's kind of your job to push through it to make sure you know what you can do and know what you're willing to do. So he's pretty good about just getting on the board and just doing what's being asked. Taking us to Saturday, the first 11 dive meet of the year. Oh, it was on both of our minds. So Evan dove 10 times with one more to go, walking up across the board and preparing, knowing another school record and his first state qualifier was in reach. Almost deja vu from last season. It came down to the last dive as well, and it was just down to the decimal, and I didn't make it, so I didn't, I didn't want to be overconfident and have that happen again. So then came the moment of truth. I mean, when he was up on his last dive and he nailed it, I knew right then before the score went up that he got it, and um, I basically cried when he did it, and his mom was there, and she was crying. Regal registered a total score of 473.5 points, 23 higher than he needed, and breaking the school record for the fourth time. The state championships will be held on March 1st as Regal and Coach Ashley hope to continue to raise the standard for JC swimming and diving. I made it this far, why not take it a step further? 
A momentous occasion up Route 12 not too long ago as Oxford's Alley Thomas hauled in two passes for the Blackhawks. Despite the team's record, making history for the program and section felt like a win. Football players come in all shapes and sizes, big and small, short and tall. And then there's number 63. I didn't like cheer at all. Now she's been with us for like two, three years now. Meet Allie Thomas, a lifelong fan and player of football. I just watched the game instead and then I wanted to join. As time went on, Thomas finished up youth and modified and last year wanted to hang it up. She tried, took a year off because she wasn't sure what to do. Um, she missed it and she's like, I want to go back to football. I'm like, okay, let's go. So away she went. Thomas joined winter workouts and the Blackhawks didn't miss a beat. I promised her mother she'd be accepted no matter what and I'd make sure that she felt comfortable. So she started coming off season workouts in February and uh, she's just been here ever since. What Chantel and Allie didn't know was that she'd ever see the field. Um, I was shocked, um, nervous. So come week one in the fourth quarter, Coach Clough came up with an idea. I called her over, I said, Allie, I'm going to throw you the ball. I don't really remember. It was just like super fast. But someone who will never forget it, mom, of course. She caught that ball and of course mom was screaming as loud as she could. <laughs> And it happened again two weeks later in the fourth quarter versus Groton with the crowd chanting Allie's name. And despite a loss, the Blackhawks had a lot to celebrate. I was in tears <laughs> videoing it and um, I, you could tell she was, I think she was happy and she said even though it was a loss, she felt like it was a win.